Hello beautiful people of the internet. How are you doing today? My name is Jackie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I cannot even believe the final season of Game of Thrones is premiering this Sunday. It is less than a week away. I am so unbelievably excited. After the new season comes out, my update schedule is going to change a little bit because I want to be able to recap each episode and share my theories after each episode. So I'm hoping to get new videos out on Mondays right after the episodes air. This means that I'm going to have to change when I film because usually I film on the weekends and then post a couple days later. But I think I can do it. So this is the last Wednesday video that we're going to have for a while and now you're going to have to look out for my videos on Mondays after the episodes. For this last video before the new season, I wanted to make a video counting down the top 10 things that I want to see in Game of Thrones season eight. It was really hard for me to make this list and I hope I'm not forgetting anything because there are so many different things that I want to see that I want from this final season and there's so many different characters that I'm really invested in. So I tried to narrow it down to 10 and I tried to keep all of my demands pretty realistic because um, I don't want to set myself up for disappointment. <laughs> So number 10 on my list of things that I want to see in season eight is reunions, reunions, reunions. At the beginning of the season, you're going to have so many characters congregating at Winterfell, characters who had never met before, and so many characters who haven't seen each other in years. I'm talking, you know, Jamie and Bran, Sansa and Tyrion, Arya and Gendry, Arya and the Hound, Jon and Bran, Jon and Arya, so many amazing reunions that we have to look forward to. And I just really hope that they live up to my expectations. Particularly the John and Arya reunion is the one that I think I'm most looking forward to because I love their sibling relationship and they've only shared what one scene together on the entire show way back in season one. So I really want to see the two of them reunite to have that brother sister relationship again because their relationship is one of my favorites in the entire series. I think in the book it is so sweet to see how much they love each other and how they think of each other so often. So at that moment, I really want to be emotional and I really, I just am really excited for it and I want, I want it so badly. Like, I don't even know what to say. I just, I need that scene. And there's so many other reunions that I'm really looking forward to. I really am excited to see how Jamie and Bran react to each other because the last time they saw each other was when Jamie pushed Bran out the window. How are John, Arya, and Sansa going to feel when they find out that Jamie did that to their brother? What's it going to be like to see Jamie and Tyrion see each other again after how they ended things? So many possibilities here and I'm really hoping that each of these reunion get, reunions get their own moment in the episode and that we're not forgetting any important relationships. Number nine on my list, I want to see dragons and direwolves. I think everybody is really excited to hope Hopefully see Jon Snow learn to ride a dragon in season eight. It would be great to see him bond with Rhaegal and become Rhaegal's dragon rider. This is the dragon that was named after Jon's biological father, so I think it is super fitting. But I don't want the dragons to take up all the time. I want to see ghosts too. We have not seen Jon Snow's direwolf since season six, and I think everybody just wants to see ghosts. And HBO like, has so much money to invest in this final season. And if they don't show me Ghost because it's too expensive, I'm gonna be pressed, okay? Cause we have not seen this wolf since season six. It's been two whole seasons with no Ghost and like, just just give me like one shot of him but just so I know the wolf is okay. And please do not bring Ghost back just to kill him because I have to lose another dire wolf. I'm gonna lose my mind. Hashtag free ghost 2K19. Number eight, I really want to get some good scenes with Sansa and Daenerys. I know that Sansa is not going to like Daenerys right away and she's going to need time to warm up to her. I think that's totally understandable because, you know, if my brother gave our kingdom away without consulting me and gave it to a woman who I have never met before, I would not be happy either. However, contrary to how the fandom continually pits Sansa and Daenerys apart, I personally think the two of them actually 
actually have a lot in common. I think that the things that they've been through over the course of the show are very similar. They are both strong women who have really undergone an amazing character progression. They are both survivors of sexual assault. They are both amazingly strong women. And I think that if the two of them really got to know each other, they would really come to respect one another. So I hope that this girl on girl hate is not going to be a season long issue. I'm hoping that it will just be a problem at the beginning of the season and then we will see Sansa and Daenerys build a mutual respect or even a friendship with each other because I would really like to see these two awesome women get along and you know it's the Great War so even though John bending the knee to Daenerys may not be ideal from a northern standpoint, I'm hoping they can set that aside eventually in order to focus on defeating the Night King because they need Daenerys' help. They need her armies and they need her dragons if they want to do that. So I hope that while initially the northerners will not like Daenerys, that Sansa will quickly come to realize that Daenerys is not that bad and that everyone will be able to put that behind them and move forward. At number seven, I really want to see Clegane Bull. Now, this fight between Sandor the Hound Clegane and his brother Gregor the Mountain Clegane has been very hyped. In season seven, it was foreshadowed in their confrontation in the Dragon Pit, where the Hound tells the Mountain, you know who's coming for you, brother. You've always known. I think this would be such a satisfying moment because this would really be a great character moment for the Hound. We have really seen an amazing character journey from him. He was someone that we all hated at the beginning and now he is a fan favorite character. I would also love to see the Hound finally overcome his fear of fire in this fight in some way because even though the Hound is a very ruthless and tough warrior, fire is one thing that he has feared ever since his brother stuck his face in the flames when he was a child. I think a really great moment of character development would be for him to finally confront this fear in order Order to get his long-awaited revenge on the brother who maimed him as a boy. At number six, I really want to see a John and Daenerys baby in season eight. It was heavily foreshadowed that Daenerys is probably going to get pregnant from her conversations with Tyrion about succession to Jorah telling John that Longclaw will serve him well and his children after him to Daenerys telling John that she can't have children and him saying, is Miri Mazdur really a reliable source of information? So I think that we are really meant to question question if Daenerys is really unable to have children or not. And I think in season eight, she is going to find out that she is pregnant with Jon's child. I think this would be a really great thing for both Jon and Daenerys because Daenerys lost her first child and that was a very difficult thing for her to go through. And in the books, you can really see how deeply that pains her that she is never going to be a mother to an infant, a human baby. As for Jon, he really told himself that he could never have children. He didn't allow himself to want that because he grew up being a bastard. However, once he finds out that he's really not, he's really the rightful heir to the throne, he is a true born Targaryen, now he does have a name that he could pass on to his future child and I think that becoming parents would be a great thing for both Jon and Daenerys as characters. At number five on this list, I want to see some Jamie and Brienne sexual tension. Now I have a couple different ships on Game of Thrones. However, I think Jamie and Brienne is the one that I love the most. Brainy will always have my heart and they have been building up this great dynamic between them through the seasons. You've really seen how knowing each other has changed each of them and the chemistry that they have in their scenes is absolutely amazing. I don't understand how anyone can watch Game of Thrones and not want these two to be together. As much as I want a happy ending for Jamie and Brienne, I would love for them to get married and to just have beautiful golden haired warrior children, but I know it's not a realistic desire. So I'm just hoping that we get a really good romantic moment between the two of them before I think Jamie is going to inevitably killed off. I don't want Jamie to get killed off, but I think he's going to, and I'm just trying to be realistic in my hopes here. So I really want to see some 
romantic buildup between the two of them in this final season. I want to see a scene where they acknowledge their feelings for each other, when they confess their love, and I am really hoping that if Jamie does indeed have to die, that he will get to die in Brienne's arms. This would be an amazing payoff for the moment in season five where Jamie tells Bronn that he always wanted to die in the arms of the woman he loves. At the time he meant Cersei, but I think it would be beautiful to find out as he lays dying that the woman he truly loves with all his heart is Brienne and it always will be. At number four, I want to see a satisfying ending for Tyrion Lannister. Now there have been spoilers recently about how Tyrion's story is going to end. I will not say anything for those of you who do not want any potential spoilers. However, my hopes for Tyrion's ending are that it's just going to be something that rings true to his character. However his storyline ends, I want it to be something that feels right, that actually feels like something that he would do. I was very disappointed with Tyrion's role in season six because he really took a backseat in the storyline, existing only as Daenerys' advisor, and a lot of the ideas that he came up with ended up being major failures, which is really disappointing because Tyrion has really been built up as one of the smartest characters on the entire show. He thrives in politics, so I really want to get back to his roots and to see Tyrion make smarter decisions in season eight, and I want his ending, whatever it is, whether he lives, whether he dies, to feel like a satisfying ending to his character arc. At number three, I want to see fulfillment for Arya. Arya Stark is one of my favorite characters in Game of Thrones, and she is my absolute favorite character hands down in the books. Arya has been through so much over the course of the series. She has struggled and really felt like there wasn't a place where she belongs. I want her ending to really find her fulfillment. I want her to finally feel like there's a place where she belongs, where she's accepted. I don't really care what this ending is. I mean, I don't want her to die, obviously. That's why I'm saying I want fulfillment for her. I don't think dying for her is fulfillment. So I want her to live and I want her to do something for her, really. Like, I don't want her just to be staying at Winterfell or Sansa rules as Lady and she's Sansa's executioner or things like that. I want her to finally feel valued and to finally do something for herself. You know, to finally have the life that she's always wanted. I would love to see her finally, you know, be given in some kind of political role because of her own merits. Like, you know, she told Ned, like, if she could ever become a king's counselor or build castles or be the High Septon, and he said all she would be able to do is to marry a High Lord and have his children, which is not what she wanted. So I would really like to maybe see her as a counselor to John if John becomes king. Perhaps that she could have a romantic relationship with Gendry. I definitely think there is foreshadowing in the books. You can really see in the books that she does have a crush on him which he likely reciprocates. And I have heard rumblings that apparently like there's some kind of like, like this is some activity to make us think that Arya and Gendry might be getting together. What I mean by that is that HBO Spain on Valentine's Day included like a Valentine of Arya and Gendry, apparently another foreign HBO account like posted an entire video about Arya and Gendry as part of their countdown to the final season. Like all this stuff that is making me wonder if they're actually going to happen romantically because honestly I really didn't know if I trusted D&D to actually actually like do their relationship justice. So if the two of them actually acknowledge romantic feelings for each other, that would be a pleasant surprise. I don't know, maybe Arya could go off and sort of form her own pack. Maybe she'll go and become an explorer and maybe like Gendry could go with her or somebody else could go with her. I just want whatever Arya is ending to be, to be a well-earned break from all the fighting and struggling she's had to do over the series. Whatever that ending is, I want to leave the show content knowing that Arya has finally found some fulfillment in her life. At number two on this list, I want to see the Valonqar prophecy. Now in the book series, this is a prophecy Cersei receives from Maggie the Frog saying that she will die when the Valonqar wraps his hands about her pale white throat and chokes the life from her. Valonqar is a word in High Valyrian that means little brother. So this is part of the reason why Cersei hates Tyrion so much. She believes that Tyrion will one day kill her and so that's why she wants to get rid of him. I think though it would be the ultimate 
dramatic irony to reveal that Jamie is actually the Valonqar, not Tyrion, because Jamie actually is technically younger than Cersei. Even though they are twins, we find out in the book series that Cersei was born first. So Jamie is still her Valonqar, just as Tyrion is. I think this would just be an amazing moment to see Cersei have this realization that her whole life she's hated the wrong brother. It would just be an amazing moment and honestly I feel like out of all the characters on the show Jaime is one of the ones who has suffered the most because of Cersei's actions and he is to me the most satisfying person that could possibly kill her. I think he may die in the attempt but I think this would be an amazing poetic moment for the show and I would be disappointed if Cersei is killed by anyone else but Jaime. So finally, the number one thing that I most want to see in the final season of Game of Thrones is a dream of spring. Now, we all know that Game of Thrones and A Song of Ice and Fire is supposed to have a bittersweet ending. However, the word bittersweet does end with the word sweet. I am so tired of everyone using that Ramsey Bolton quote, if you think this has a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention. I know that. I know it's not going to be all sunshine and rainbows. I know a lot of characters are going to die and the ones who do live are probably going to have to deal with a lot of survivor's guilt and PTSD. However, I want the final scene of the show to be something positive. I want to leave the show with some semblance of hope. I want to know that the system in Westeros is going to change, that things are going to get better, that our characters have not been through this long, arduous journey for not. I really like the Hunger Games ending so I wouldn't mind if it was something similar to that where we do see this hope for the future but also that you know characters who go through a war are going to have to struggle with that for the rest of their lives because war is awful and we all know that George R. R. Martin is very anti-war and he wants to show the horrors of it with the Song of Ice and Fire. However, I do want our characters who survived the show to have some happiness. I want to know that after everything they've been through, it was worth it because now the world is going to be a better place. I want the ultimate message of Game of Thrones not to be that life is bleak, but that there is always hope. So everyone, those are the 10 things that I most want to see in Game of Thrones season eight. I hope I didn't forget anything. If there is something that you, I didn't mention that you guys think is important, feel free to leave it in the comments. Let me know what are the things that you most want to see in this final season. I am so unbelievably excited for season eight to finally come out. I will hopefully have a recap and theory video about episode one out on April 15th, the day after the episode airs. I'm going to try my best to make it work for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. I also am going to link my second channel down below if you want to describe if you want to subscribe to that as well. Thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye and I hope to see you in the next video.